Over the past few weeks, I've been doing a lot of painting, getting ready for New York Art Expo, which is taking place April 4th to 6th in New York City at Pier 94. It's one of the bigger art shows in the country, art expos, and so I thought it might be interesting to create a vlog, uh, or a series of vlogs, explaining the process of getting ready for something like this. Uh, there's a lot of different decisions you have to make, a lot of paintings you have to do, shipping, traveling, all those types of fun, fun things. Um, so I thought maybe it'd be interesting to kind of show the process. This first video, I wanted to talk a little bit about the frames I'm going to use at the expo. Two different style of frame that I'm deciding between. I might go with both if they work together. The first ones came in yesterday, so the other the others haven't come yet, so I really can't compare them too much yet. But I wanted to talk a little bit about this frame. Uh, this is a Renaissance style frame. It has a lot of ornate design and it has a gold inlay. And it's really, uh, it really stands out. So it really dresses up your painting nicely, but there's a few drawbacks with it too. Uh, you never know what a person's space or home is going to be like. So you're not sure, will it fit in or will it not? Will they have to reframe it? These are kind of expensive frames, so you know, are they gonna just take it home and not use the frame? Or they could always sell it, I guess. So there's a few things to think about when you're picking out your frames. Another thing is if it fits the artwork. I was kind of worried at first that it wouldn't really fit my artwork because mine is kind of contemporary style painting. Um, but I'm actually really happy with how it looks. I think it really fits this painting in particular because uh, this is kind of like a moody painting, uh, has a darker look to it, and there's a message behind it, and it really kind of makes it stand out. And that's the thing with doing a big expo like New York Art Expo. There's over 200 artists there. They're all really great artists. They all have different types of frames. They all have different ways of standing out. So sometimes you need to make your painting really stand out off the wall so people will go and look at it. So that was my thinking behind using these types of frames. Um, sometimes the frame might catch somebody's eye and then they're like, oh, look at the painting and then kind of think about it. Uh, there's just so much going on at an expo like this that you really need something to draw people in. And hopefully it's just your artwork, uh, which is what I'm hoping it will be. But sometimes giving it that little extra edge uh, really helps. So I have these types of frames. Um, and another thing with the, with the framing that I have to worry about is I use thicker canvas on stretchers and I really don't want to take the painting off the stretcher bars and re-stretch it into thinner um, stretcher bars. Right now I use one and a half inch canvas and a lot of the standard frames are either three-fourths of an inch or seven-eighths. So it's really hard to find really nice frames at one and a half inches in width. So here's another painting in the frame and I'm actually really happy with how these look. Uh, and I think I'll probably will go with these types of frames, especially for my tall, thin paintings like this. Uh, I might do a mixture of frames and um, have maybe some really ornate ones and then maybe a little less um, fancy, I will say. Fancy is the word for these frames. So I'll say I'll do some fancy frames and maybe some uh, less fancy, but I like to do black frames because I feel like uh, black kind of frames in the painting the best and doesn't distract as much as maybe like a red wood or um, a really grainy bright wood color frame. Um, so what's your opinion on the frames? Would you go with fancy ornate or would you go with really modern sleek? Um, that's the decision I have to make. Also, I'm curious uh, if any of you have some good suggestions of things to do in New York City. I've been there a lot of times. I've done the Times Square thing, which is really fun at first, and then it kind of feels like 
you're standing in line for I don't know what. You're just kind of standing there, shoulder to shoulder, waiting to go somewhere. So anyway, uh, Times Square is fun the first few times, but then, I don't know, I don't really go there anymore. Um, Central Park's fun during the day, but a lot of times during the day I'm at uh, Expo, so I really can't go and do things. So, do you have any suggestions of restaurants, lounges, things to do, uh, galleries to go to? Uh, I'd be curious as to what you have done there or what might be fun. Like I said, I'll be there for over a week, so I'm going to need some things to do other than work. So, let's hear your suggestions about frames and things to do in New York. And if you're going to be in New York April 4th to 6th or want to travel to New York, uh, I can give you free tickets to Art Expo. I have a link below in the description that will send you to a form to fill out to get free tickets. Normally the tickets are $20 a day, I think. I can't really remember. I've never paid to go there, so I'm not sure. But I think it's $20 and um, not only that, you get VIP tickets from me, which means you can go every day of the show. Um, you can go to the, there's an after party the first day where they give free drinks and food and lots of fun stuff. There's music and all that. Um, and then uh, you get a show guide and you can go to, they have um, educational workshops for up and coming artists where other artists and pro art, uh, art professionals kind of teach these seminars on how to become a successful artist. So you can go to all of that um, and it's a lot of fun. You can come hang out, meet me, ask me some questions, uh, just hang out. It'll be a lot of fun. Anyway, free tickets down below in the description and I look forward to hearing your opinions. So thanks for watching my first vlog on going to New York and I'll see you again soon.